Raquel Welch is without a doubt one of the greatest actresses of her generation, and she remains a sex symbol to this day. She was lauded not only for her acting, but also her incredible beauty. Join Facts First to learn about the Raquel Welch movies where her beauty is on full display. Raquel's Early Life and Career Joe Raquel Tejada was born in Chicago, September 5, 1940. Her father was an immigrant from Bolivia, and her name, Raquel, may be commonplace in the U.S. today, but was unique and perhaps even exotic in those days. When she was only two, her family moved to California, which is where she grew up. During her teens, she realized she wanted to pursue a career in show business. While she grew up in San Diego, perhaps the closeness to L.A. piqued her interest in working in the entertainment industry. She began taking dance classes, and as she got a bit older, she began participating in beauty contests, winning several of them. She later studied at San Diego State College as she hoped to become a Hollywood actress. She eventually began acting in local theater productions. She also found a full-time job working as a weather forecaster at KFMB. It was also during this time that she married her husband, James Welch, and took on his name. They had two children together before they separated. Later, Raquel moved around the country, spending a lot of time in Dallas, Texas. However, in 1963, she moved to Los Angeles to pursue acting full-time. She soon started getting small roles in TV shows and films. It wasn't long until the world got to see Raquel Welch, starlet and sex symbol. Before we tell you more about Raquel Welch's life and career, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Hanny Calder Arguably, one of Raquel Welch's best films is Hanny Calder, released in 1971. This was a British Western that follows a woman named Hanny Calder who faces a tragedy in her life. Her husband gets killed, and she's brutally attacked by the men who killed him. However, she doesn't decide to just move on. She decides to take revenge on the men. This is perhaps one of the more underrated Western films ever, but is a huge hit among Raquel Welch fans. It's a movie where you see her incredible beauty on full display, but also see her being a powerful actress. In fact, this was one of the many films that inspired Quentin Tarantino to make the Kill Bill films. It wasn't lauded by critics, but became a huge hit in both the UK and the USA. Raquel's character remains an inspiration for today's actresses, who want to show off their beauty and femininity, but also want a great role that exposes their toughness. 100 Rifles 100 Rifles was another western that Raquel Welch appeared in. It was released in 1969 before Hanny Calder and seems to have been overshadowed by it. She has a supporting role as Sarita, working alongside Burt Reynolds and Jim Brown. The film was a huge flop for its time and is still dismissed by many fans, but we think it's a classic film and we should certainly revisit it. The film follows a half-white, half-indigenous bank robber, played by Burt Reynolds, being chased by an Arizona lawman, played by Jim Brown. The character of Sarita allowed Raquel Welch to show off her ravishing beauty once again. She put on an affected Spanish accent, which we might dismiss today as being painfully inaccurate. But it's still a fun film to watch and great for anyone who's fallen in love with Raquel Welch. Raquel didn't have the best experience working on the film, though. She and Jim Brown clashed a few times and is perhaps not one of her personal favorites. Nevertheless, we'd still recommend it to anyone discovering Raquel Welch for the first time. Fantastic Voyage Fantastic Voyage is a science fiction film from 1966. Raquel Welch was part of an all-star cast alongside Stephen Boyd, Donald Pleasance, and Edmund O'Brien. Raquel's role was as Cora Peterson, a technical assistant, and a gorgeous one at that. This was one of Raquel's biggest hits, and easily one of the most popular sci-fi films of the 60s. This was one of her favorite films of her own, and is easily one of her best. The film had positive reviews from critics, and was loved by audiences all over. This was still early on in Raquel's career, and one of the films that was instrumental in crafting her as a sex symbol. The film inspired a novelization, similar films, and several TV shows inspired by the film's theme. While this film exploited Raquel Welch's excellent acting skills, it didn't shy away from showing her beauty on full display. One Million Years B.C. Also released in 1966, One Million Years B.C. was an adventure film set during the early stages of humanity in which Raquel Welch tries to survive against dinosaurs. Yep, the film showed humans and dinosaurs living in the same era. She played the lead role of Loana and became famous due to the skimpy outfits she wore throughout the film. One of the most famous outfits was her fur bikini. Photos of Raquel wearing it were used in the publicity of the film, and these images are what helped make Raquel Welch a sex symbol. The poster where we see Raquel in the fur bikini is where her beauty is on full display. To this day, it's one of the most popular photos to identify Raquel Welch. If you've seen the film The Shawshank Redemption, you'll also remember this 
this image was mentioned in the film. Raquel remembers the film fondly, and despite the fact that it has an absurd storyline, it's still one of the best films of her career. Fuzz this is a 1972 action and comedy film which is written by Evan Hunter and based on his novel, which he wrote under his pen name, Ed McBain. She plays one of four detectives on a team, part of the 87th Precinct. They're working together to investigate a slew of murders of public officials. The film was a huge hit and loved by critics and audiences alike. It's also considered to be one of Raquel Welch's best acting roles. If you want to see her at the pinnacle of her acting talents, you'll find them here. But of course, you'll also see her beauty on full display. She remembers this as one of her favorite films, and it's a great introduction to her career if you're a new fan. Fathom Fathom was released in 1967 and one of the early films that launched Raquel to stardom. It's a British spy film in which Raquel plays Fathom Harville, a skydiver who gets involved with a man claiming to be an agent for NATO. The film was a flop and even received zero stars from the late Roger Ebert. But even so, it's a fun film to watch and there are many scenes where you'll see Raquel Welch's beauty on full display. While her career has had its ups and downs, Raquel Welch has been a starlet and a sex symbol since the 1960s. As recently as the 2010s, she received roles in major films and even in her 80s, she's still one of the most beautiful women who has ever graced the cinema screen. Now it's time to hear from you. Which of these movies was your favorite? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content. By the way, if you haven't joined Facts First as a member yet, be sure to look below this video and click the join button. By becoming a paid member of Facts First, you'll get access to exclusive video content that you won't find anywhere else. This includes some of our more mature content that isn't suitable for public audiences, which includes topics like Hollywood actresses who posed for Playboy and some of the steamiest moments in movie history. Plus, you can enjoy these videos completely ad-free. Our biggest fans will notice they also get badges next to their name when they leave comments on our videos. We pay special attention to comments from our members and so do other viewers. So if you want exclusive content from Factsverse or inside access to discussions with other community members, click the join button to get started for just $4.99. There are hours of members only videos waiting for you with new videos added every month. And we're actively working on bringing even more features to help fans like you connect with other members and get more of your favorite content. Just click join and we'll see you inside the membership tab.